Hi folks, I wanted to give an update on my garden experiment. Uh, if you look at one of my previous videos at the beginning of the spring, or late spring, beginning of the growing season, I did that um, no-dig method of planting potatoes and onions. And now I'm at the point where I've got some that are being able to be harvested. So, so far it is a qualified success. Onions did not do well at all. Well, this is what I got from them, so they didn't do well without being planted. Also, I didn't get enough hay down on in time, and it was pretty weedy. But the section where I had the potatoes, um, that really seems to be turning out well. Now, I have a lot of plants that haven't died yet, so the potatoes aren't finished growing. But there were a number of places where there were uh, plants that had dried up. And so I thought, well, let me pull back the... Um, the hay and see what I've got and lo and behold I mean look at these are decent sized potatoes for um, you know for doing it this way most of them were either just under the um, the hay or were in the ground a little bit but I could see them peeking out so I have a whole lot more to dig up once the plants die but if they all look like this, this is the way I'm going to grow potatoes from here on out. My goodness. And I wasn't perfect with getting the hay on this either. I should have gotten a second um, batch of, of old hay on it earlier to choke out more of the weeds um, than what I did get. But as you can see, now they're not perfect, of course, potatoes. But they're, they're good size and good quality. They were Yukon Gold Seed Potatoes that I planted. And it looks like they're going to be pretty good. So I might have a pretty good harvest doing it this way. Again, you can refer back to that previous video. I'll put the link underneath this video if you want to take a look at it to show how I planted them and so on. Uh, but it was a whole lot easier. There was no really any kind of digging trenches or making hills or keeping hilling up the potatoes throughout the course of the growing season. It was basically just clear off the, the soil, run the tiller over at once just to kind of make sure everything was dead and the soil was a little loose, throw the seed potatoes down, cover it with hay, and forget about it. And now I've got this so far. Now, a um, couple things. I've probably told you this before, but I'll remind people again. When you're harvesting potatoes, you never want to do it during the sunshine of the day. Sunlight hitting the potatoes when you're pulling them out of the ground sets off a chemical reaction and they don't keep. So you want to do it either if it's a heavy cloudy day or in the evenings after the sunset. That's when you want to harvest and you don't want them to be out, you know, you don't want to store them like on a sunny porch or anything. Uh, these, what I'm probably going to do when I get more of them, I will um, put them in a burlap bag. You can get burlap bags still certain places and then hang them in the, hang them uh, from a hook in the barn where it's cooler and there's no sunlight so that they'll keep longer. If you've got a root cellar, even better because you can store potatoes for months if the conditions are right. At any rate, just wanted to show you the results, and uh, if I get a whole lot more, I might come back with an update to this one. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing to our channel, and thank you for uh, taking this journey with us of country living on a shoestring.